What is up mga kamikmik? Kuya mo Felix, back at it again. And today, we are going to discuss integrals of powers and products of trigonometric functions. And this time, pag-usapan natin yung mga related naman sa cotangent U at cosecant U. So before we deep dive, konting lecture muna tayo. So, yung lecture natin, no, parang kaparehas lang din to nung tangent at cosecant basic. Tangent and secant basically. Kasi si cotangent, diba, inverse, ah, inverse, reciprocal lang siya ng tangent at si cosecant is uh, parehas siya ni secant na reciprocal ng sine and cosine, ba? Diba? Respectively. And two cases lang din yan, guys. If same dun sa tangent second relationship no kung dun sa second ang tinitingnan natin if even si second dito si cosecant tama ng even mag factor out ka ng 1 cosecant square at ang um, kinoconsider kasi natin diyan ang kinakapitalize nating relationship diyan is if we're going to use na u is for example is dapat cotangent x eh di ba ang derivative niyan is negative cosecant squared x dx. Yan. Yan yung kinakapitalize natin sa rule na yan. Dito naman sa isa, parang ganun din. No? Kapag uh, add si tangent, ito naman pag add si cotangent, yung power. Pag factor out ka ng 1 cotangent at mag factor out ka ng 1 cosecant, then i-convert mo yung remaining factors into cosecant u. So ang kinakapitalize natin rule dyan guys is kapag naman cosecant x, yung i-consider mong u, dapat yung d u mo dyan is uh, cotangent or pwedeng yan, cotangent x negative yan ha ko si x dx yan so yan yung pwede natin gamitin diyan okay and sabi dito yung mga remaining factors is i-convert mo since ito ang u mo kasi dito sa even na cosecant is cotangent u lahat dapat ng factors diyan is cotangent u same goes with this na kapag ang u mo is cosecant so dapat lahat ng remaining factors i-convert natin into cosecant u and ano yung gagamitin natin diyan we will use Pythagorean trigonometric identities. Dito pa rin galing yan sa sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So, since ang kailangan natin maproduce is related sa cotangent and cosecant, paano natin mapoproduce yun? We are going to divide everything by sine squared. Sine squared. Sine squared. And that is equal to 1 plus cot tangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x. So, ibig sabihin, kung gusto natin gawin in terms of cotangent lahat, lahat ng cosecant squared, ipapalit natin ng ganito. And if gusto naman natin na in terms of cosecant lahat, yung cotangent squared x, that is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1. O, ba? Diba? So, yan lang naman yung mga relationship na gagamitin natin. Okay, okay, okay. Correct, correct, correct. Okay, so without further ado, let's have some examples. Okay, example number one. Let's find the integral of cotangent x to the fourth cosecant six to the ah uh, cosecant three to six x. Ngayon base dito, ang pasok na rule natin dito is kapag si cosecant is even. And kita naman natin even siya. So pwede natin gawin is mag-factor out tayo ng isang cosecant squared. Okay? So that will become integral ng cotangent to the fourth x times cosecant to the fourth x multiplied by cosecant to the fourth ay to the fourth squared x dx. Ngayon, bakit natin yan ginawa? Kasi ito yung gagamitin nating du. So since ganyan na yan, uh, what we can do is, di ba, kailangan i-convert natin yung remaining ito cotangent. Kasi ito yung gagamitin natin yung DU eh. Ngayon, uh, ito to the fourth, hindi natin basta-basta pwedeng i-convert yan. So, i-factor outan muna natin ng squared. So, that is cosecant squared x squared cosecant squared x dx. Ayan. So, pwede natin gawin dito no, yung Pythagorean. No? Pwede natin bigyan ng Pythagorean yan, which is ano yung related kanina, di ba? Kinumpitan natin yan. Si cosecant is equal to 1 plus cotangent squared. So basically, you just convert it to cotangent fourth x multiplied by, ano yun ulit? Ano ba? Nakalimutan ko kagad. 1 plus cotangent. 1 plus 
cotangent squared x squared times cosecant squared x dx. Ayan. So, pwede na natin gawin dito. Mag-usap tayo. Okay? So, ano yun natin? As stated earlier, dapat cotangent x. And dahil kasi, di ba, ito ang purpose ng ating pag-factor is para may du tayo. E ang du niyan, di ba, is negative cosecant squared x dx. E base dito, cosecant square lang yan, kulang ng negative. So, maglalagay tayo negative dito. And since naglalagay tayo ng negative, kailangan may correcting factor tayo sa labas ng negative. So, pwede na natin i-treat to as du. The rest ng cotangent, ipalit natin sa u. So, therefore, our integral now will become u to the fourth multiplied by 1 plus u squared squared times du. So, treated as du na ito. No? Kasi yun, no? hindi yun natin negative cosecant. This is negative cosecant squared x dx. So, ito na. Algebra na lang. Let's do the algebra. Expand the binomial. 1 plus 2u squared plus u to the fourth du. Distribute. Negative u to the fourth plus 2u to the sixth plus u to the eighth. Don't forget, may du pa tayo dito. And the rest is kayang-kaya na ng product rule. So this is just ay product rule, power rule. Over 5 plus 2u to the seventh over 7 plus u to the ninth over 9. And don't forget your vitamin C. Okay? Uh, ano ba ako? Okay. And, okay. Kahit nandiyan na yung negative, no? Para isang negative sign na lang. Hindi pa to final answer. Ipabalik natin yung u. At yung u na natin ginamit is cotangent x. So, therefore, our final answer is uh, 1 fifth cotangent to the fifth x plus 2 over 7 cotangent to the 7x plus 1 over 9 cotangent 9x plus c. And that is your final answer. Beautiful math. Okay? So yung ginamit natin dito, yung kinapitalize natin na relationship is yung u cotangent x and du is negative cosecant x square. Okay? Yan. Example number 2. Paano naman kung ganito yung given, guys? dt, find the integral of dt over tangent cube 2t sine to the fifth 2t. Hmm. So sa unang tingin, wala namang rule pa tayo or techniques na naituro na related sa tangent sine, di ba? Ang meron is yung tangent is cosine. Ah, co uh, second rather, no? Pero ito, wala. Pero kung mapapansin ninyo, di ba? This is 1 over tangent and this is 1 over sine. So, pwede ko siyang i-rewrite as integral ng cotangent cube 2t tapos cosecant to the fifth 2t. Ayan. So, parang sinulat lang siya as reciprocals. No? Pag sinulat mo siya as reciprocals, yan. Pasok na siya dun sa powers and products ng trigon natin using cotangent cosecant. And based dito sa rule na gagamitin natin, kapag add yung cotangent. Kasi yung cosecant natin, add. So, well, dapat even, do, para pwedeng pumasok nun sa even cosecant. Kaso ito is add cotangent. So, cotangent yung gagawin natin. And using this, no, di ba, ang sa pagkakatanda nyo with our rules, ang gagamitin natin is magpa-factor out tayo ng tigisa kapag add si cotangent. So, that is cotangent square 2t times cosecant to the fourth 2t and ito yung pinaktor out natin na tigisang cotangent 2t times cosecant 2t dt. And ang goal natin, para bakit natin pinaktor out yan? Oops. Dahil yan yung gagamitin natin du. Okay? And since that yung gagamitin natin du, ang kinakapitalize natin na relationship dito ay yung uh, if our u is equal to uh, cosecant x. Parang ganyan yung gagamitin natin mamaya. Pero before we do but before we do that, syempre, uh, dapat lahat is in terms of cosecant. Na, eh, may cotangent tayo dito. So, kailangan i-convert natin to into uh, cosecant using uh, yung Pythagorean natin. And ano yung Pythagorean ng ating cotangent square? 2t. 
that is equal to cosecant squared 2t minus 1. So, papalitan lang natin yun dyan. Okay? So, that is equal to integral ng cosecant squared 2t minus 1 quantity multiplied ng cosecant na to, to the fourth. 2t. Then, yung ating pang d. So, hindi ko na isusulat, no? Kasi yan lang. I-re-write ko lang naman. Okay? And, ang next natin gagawin is, as you see it na natin, parang tayo malito. Parang tayo malito. Cotangent 2t, cosecant 2t dt. Ayan. Pula na natin. And, next na gagawin natin is use substitution na. And, since ginawa natin nga yan, kasi ang goal natin is gagamitin natin is cosecant 2t na u. And therefore, ang du niyan dapat ay uh, chain rule na natin agad. No? Since may 2 yan, dapat may 2 dito sa harapan niyan. Tapos, cotangent 2t, cosecant 2t. Kahit magbaligtara, no? okay lang guys. Yeah. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, oops, wait, may kulang. This should be negative. Okay? Negative ko sa yan. And kung mapapansin nyo, kulang tayo dito ng negative 2 para maging ganap na DU yan. And since nagdag tayo ng negative 2 dyan, kailangan may correcting factor tayo na negative 1 half sa labas. So, pwede nang ganap na DU yan. The rest is papalitan na natin ng U. So, therefore, we can basically derive our whole integral using U substitution. And that is equal to U squared minus 1 times u to the fourth multiplied by du. Ayan. Easy as that. Distribute lang natin. Negative one half integral ng u to the six minus u to the fourth du. And basic power rule lang to. Negative one half. This is u to the seventh over seven minus u to the fifth over fifth. And don't forget your vitamin C. So, hindi ko na ito i-distribute. Pwede naman distribute, pero pwede na negative 1 half sa labas. Ah, hindi. Kasi may mga 7-7 eh. So, since may mga 7-7, distribute na natin. So, this is negative 14. 2 times 7. U to the 7. Yung U, palitan na natin. Ano iba yung value ng U? Ang value ng U natin is cosecant 2. So, this is equal to cosecant to 7 to T. Minus, minus. So, this is positive na. Positive 1 over 10. No? Kasi yung kanina, 2 times 7, negative 14. Negative 1 half times negative 1 fifth is positive 10. Now, this is equal to cosecant to the fifth to t. Don't forget your vitamin C. And that is our final answer. Beautiful math. Okay? So, ang kinapitalize natin dito, guys, is yung cosecant to tangent. Ngayon, guys, no? Uh, yan. So, yeah. Ayan siya. Basic. Ayan, example number 3. Uh, let's find the integral of cotangent cube x cosecant squared x. So basically, upon checking the exponents, yung exponent ng cotangent is add. So pwede nating mag-factor out ng tig-iisa. And pwede tayong mag-factor out din ng cosecant squared kasi squared to. No? So even. So basically, pwede na agad new substitution to. Eh. So para mas madali, eh, bagoy natin. Gawin natin 4. Diba? Masyadong madali eh. Yusab, yusab agad yung kanina eh. Pero ito, yan. Ito na. Magpa-powers and products tayo dito. Kasi pwedeng even to. Tapos ito pwedeng uh, add yung cotangent. So, pero ang gagamitin ko is, ikakapitalize ko dito is si cosecant. And magpa-factor out ako dito ng cotangent cosecant. Parang mas, mas mula lang. Mas bet ko. Mas bet gawin. So ang gagawin ko is magpa-factor out ako ng tig-iisa. That's magiging squared na. Tapos ito is magiging cosecant cube x. And itong pinactor out kong cotangent x, cosecant x, dx. Ito yung gagamitin kong pang du mamaya. And since this is our du, no, please take note na pag ito ang ating du, definitely ang antiderivative niyan is cosecant. So kailangan itong remaining cotangent makonvert ko into cosecant. And papan siya? That is just, nalala yung Pythagorean niya, no? Ano yung Pythagorean niya? Identity. That is equal to cosecant square minus 1. Ayan. So, login lang natin dyan. Papalitan lang natin. That is cosecant squared minus 1 times cosecant cube x multiplied by cotangent x cosecant x dx. 
And yeah, pwede na tayo mag-use substitution, substitution dyan. Ano yung u natin dyan? Cos cat x. Ang du natin is negative cot tangent x cos cat x cos cat x dx. Okay? And that's it. Diba? Plug in lang natin yan. That will become integral now. U squared minus 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 u cube d u. Ay, wait, 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 wait. May mali, may mali. Dapat negative, no? Ito, ito, ito. Dapat negative. Walang negative to. So, kailangan may negative yan. And since may negative yan, correcting factor para maging du yan. So, nakalimutan natin. Dapat may negative yan. Okay? Yan. And negative integral, distribute nyo lang to the fifth minus u to the third du. And yan. Kayang-kaya na ng power rule. So that is just negative u to the fourth, ay, u to the fourth, u to the sixth over six minus u to the fourth over four. Don't forget your vitamin C. Hindi pa final answer, plug in natin si Cosica. That is negative cosecant to the 6x all over 6 minus cosecant to the 4x all over 4 plus c. And that is your, ay, not ganun. Yeah, c. That is your final answer. And pwede nyo i-check, no? Using the other way around. Ngayari, hindi yan yung choices. Ang nasa choices is in terms of, uh, in terms of yung, ano, in terms of na ginamit na u is, uh, cotangent, no? Pwede naman, pag ang kakapitalize nyo naman na relationship is if u is equal to cotangent, dapat ang um, ipa-factor out ninyo is si cosecant x dx. Pero please take note, yan. Negative dapat yan. Oops, squared. Yeah. So pwede nyo itry using this naman. Kung hindi, uh, kung hindi in terms of cosecant but in terms of cotangent yung choices. Okay? So that's it for our lesson. So, practice lang guys, no? Practice lang ng practice. Uh, ito, si Kuya Mopelix nagsasabi na lagi pinapaalala sa inyo na do not study until you get it right. Study until you cannot get it wrong. And, bye-bye.